Good afternoon, peoples. Oh, the wind's gonna blow me. It is super hot and muggy today. I just got done yard so I went to the thrift stores and thought I'd share. <laughs> Cut. Redo it. Uh, there's a few yard sales today. I got one thing at the place by the park. This vase. Now, is it an antique or a vintage uh, art glass studios? Crackle carnival glass? I don't know. Um, you can kind of, well, you can't do it, but you can see light through the cracks. I just had to try to make sure it wasn't like a coating they'd stuck on it. It looks okay. I don't know. It looks like it's all the way through. But, uh, yeah, cool. Uh, I haven't found much there recently. We got that tapestry that's still piled in the corner, folded up. Uh, this stuff is at the other store. Well, two other stores. Got me a, uh, a foot. What do they call these? Uh, this one's Acme. Uh, a boot jack. Yes, boot jack. Uh, they used to have some value, like 20 bucks or something, depending on who made them. Uh, full hat. If I throw them my dollar tart, someone might want them for a doll. The cobwebs are fuzz stuck to that one. There's two straw. They look like they were sold at a, probably a, a craft store. This was a dollar forty nine. I'll probably I don't know if I'll take them off or what I'm gonna do with those. They're stapled on, I think. Uh, not on that one. Though. Oh wait, that one's got a tag. Alright, and then I got Something else in here. Two cool things. We got a lens. It is a uh, Rokunar Japan. Uh, it's got the lens covers and everything. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's a uh, Rokunar MC7 7 element auto tele converter 2 times MC4CF Japan. I don't know. All my camera knowledge is long gone. I don't remember. I had, I was in a photo club in high school that lasted one meeting. <laughs> uh, also a filter for, it's a Tiffin. Uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a piece off something. It says it's a, uh, a flash -o lens. E.W. Pike and Company, Elizabeth, New Jersey, patented, blah, 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 other patent is, patent pendings. Uh, I thought maybe it was a slide viewer. I don't really know what it is. Uh, and two signs. This one, hot baths, fresh water, 15 cents, uh, used water, 5 cents. Uh, it's vintage. Uh, it was sold by... YBC, 19 cents. It's got a couple of creases. Still pretty cool. Paid a quarter for it. And this one. Mom and Paul. Merry Christmas, 19... To Tom. <laughs> nice. Ah. Uh, I bet my friend Marcy donated this, and now I just purchased this from this store. <laughs> That's probably where this sign came from. To Tom. Merry Xmas, 1966. Because her uncle was named Tom. Ma and Pa. Huh. That's pretty cool. Three years after I was born, they gave him the sign. Old bowlers never die. They just can't lift their balls. Uh, so that is all of that stuff. Uh, the art so oh, I didn't realize that scratch. Britney Spears pencil case got scratched. Two thousand. It was fifty cents. Uh, oh, hold on. Seems to be missing. It was a rubber ball. Hong Kong. I don't know where I put it. Oh, no, no, no clue. Uh, and you got that there. And they also had a bunch of eight tracks. Unfortunately, mostly religious and country. I went through them. There was a few sealed ones. Uh, this case was laying in there. It's uh, Capitol Records. It's got an apple on it, but it's not, you know, the Beatles apple. It's a, it says 1970. So I don't know what the deal was for it, but I 
There's a John. This didn't have a case, so I slid this in there. All right, I swiped their case, but it was laying loose. And it was in the same thing as these tapes. So, uh, one Elvis, a Bob Dylan that's pretty beat, a uh, slow train coming, Johnny Cash hits volume one, sealed a uh, Jesus Festival of Music, festival, festival of music, uh, thinking with the gamble folk. I don't know what it is. I think it's religious. Uh, uh, it looks, yeah, it's religious, though. Hopefully, folk. Yeah, I'm not going to open it, though, so it doesn't really matter. And then here's Archers, which is another, uh, another, uh, religious, really, you know, really, religious one. 1977. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you see him? I thought the artwork was kind of cool, especially the Jesus one. That's pretty clean looking. And one other sealed one, which, uh, it says, Revival, the Wedgwood, 1973. It looked like Credence without John Fogarty, but I don't know who it is. They're just a revival, so I'm kind of cool. Uh, so that is it for that sale. It was five or six bucks worth of crap, and I lost the ball. I don't know where it put it. I uh, went to another sale. Oh, I went to this sale was in Hydetown. I went all the way back. It was at the old post office. I had a thing of three figures. I think maybe they're Halo? I don't know. I'll we'll probably take them to the flea market. Uh, I got six games. Two are Xbox Ones. I got a Rory Mc... Who is it? Oh, uh, PJ Tour game. Uh, they look clean and everything. Disney Infinity. Probably put a few bucks a piece on them. I don't know. I gotta look them up. I don't know much about it. I don't usually buy Xbox anymore. They have to be like a fantasy game. Maybe I'd buy them to resell. But I don't have a system to test them in, so they always gotta be clean. Uh, these are all 360s. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. They had uh, one other one, but they had uh, four bucks or something on it. I think it was... One of them, it wasn't Halo, it was something like that, I think, I can't remember what it was. Propala Pro Bass Fishing, Bass Pro Shops to Strike, Halo. So, wait, is that, oh yeah, could do the two videos, all right. So there is the stuff from that sale. And then, uh, there was a sale on, uh, around the corner on the main drag into town, but when I stopped, I went back out there because the post office was too busy. So I went back out there. That sale, they had a bunch of clothes. I asked them before I left. They weren't quite open. Nobody to love them. I actually went to the one at the old post office first. And, and I asked them, and then before I walked out, I just said, are you going to have any movies or CDs or anything? And she goes, well, we got them. We just don't got them out. So I said, I'll just stop on the way back. So uh, I did pick up a few, so I'm glad I stopped. Uh, the other yard sale, I got a wooden chest on the way out the door for 50 cents. Thought it was kind of cool. Top face is loose for some reason. Mm -hmm. uh, just a cedar box. Kind of cool. I didn't see any damage to it. I'll definitely make a few bucks off it. Yeah, if the sticker will come off without ruining the finish. Ooh, it did. I'm not going to clean it or nothing. Might try to get five bucks for it. Hopefully pay for my gas today. I wasn't. I didn't see a stop sign on the way through from that White City Road sale where I got the eight tracks, and I turned onto this one road and I missed the stop sign. Flew right across this small intersection. Nobody was coming. And it wasn't one of the busy roads, thankfully, but the trees were like hiding it until I got right to it. I didn't even see the road. But uh, yeah, then I flew right over, hitting the brakes, but the little van, I could see something in the back going, woo! <laughs> Lucky, I'm happy I didn't. I'm glad it was there because the main highway was the next thing and it wasn't very far away. So. Uh, Alright, what else? Oh, and I also got a few cheapo things they had. A cat, give a bath, charge a couple bucks for it. It's an Ensco 84. And a horse. Just grabbed a few small things that hopefully wouldn't take up too much space to like, put them on my tarp for a buck. Or this one, I made, it just says 93 Kid Core. I'll make sure I don't know. I think it might go with the doll. I don't know what doll. I'll check Appaloosa. I know my horses. No, I don't. My sister was into horses, so I know a few things. And I did watch a lot of westerns.
Uh, one hat, Seawalls, probably throw a couple bucks on the flea market. I used to sell these online. They've been slow sellers. So, I don't know. Nice shape. I don't think it's ever been worn. Uh-oh, I think my mom's mower here, or our mower, whoever's mower it is. Uh, that is it, except for the sale when I stopped back on the way back from town. I stopped at that sale again, and they had a, she says they're out. Maybe one dollar each. I mean, no. <laughs> I'm going to list them a little higher. We got a, looks like an old library copy, where they bought it used for nine dollars. Uh, Blue Wild Angel, Jimi Hendrix Live at the Isle of Wight, uh, DVD set, still has the sensors, uh, I'll be looking all these up before I take them to flea market, I would have seen this shit out of slip cover, but it don't, Led Zeppelin, um, Celebration Day, four C, or two CDs and one DVD, pretty nice, um, uh, no, I don't know. It's live. Oh, okay. Recorded live December 10th, 2007. Arena, London. 2007. O2 Arena, London. They called the O2. Oh, because they opened it in 2002. All right. That makes sense. Oh, they had a couple other ones. One was missing discs, so I left it. I think it was, uh, it was a Chuck Berry. What was it? I don't know. I can't remember. I think maybe B.B. King or somebody like that. But, uh, no, they did not. It was supposed to be, I think, three three discs, and I only had two discs. So I left it. This looks cool. Uh, uh, the ones I looked at, they look clean. Kiss, Kissology? I have this, I think, unless I find these. No, mine's still up there. I also have this one up there. Kissology uh, 1. This is 2? Yeah, I think one of my step kids gave me one, and maybe my ex gave me one, or else I bought it myself. I really stopped, I stopped buying a lot of KISS stuff at this point. So. Getting out of them and everything. This has the bonus disc. It has the the reproduction backstage pass. That's why real ones are very hard to get any good money out of. Unless you got some kind of provenance that they're real. Um, nice set. I don't remember how good it was. Anyway, uh, there's that one. Then we got the Eagles Farewell. Live from Melbourne. There's the inserts in there and everything. So, nice set. Yeah, both DVDs. Oops, I almost folded that. Then it wouldn't have been nice. And Led Zeppelin. Uh, this looks cool. I don't know if it's old stuff or new stuff, though. Yeah, Immigrant Song 72, that's DVD. All right, so up to 79 on the one side. It looks like they're all old, old footage. That's pretty neat. Uh, and Elton John, John Dream, or Elton John Dream Ticket, four destinations, four DVDs. It's got a booklet, and I checked it. It has all four discs. Huh? Huh? Oh, uh, sorry, my other last video got a little too long. Um, there's something I was going to mention about it, I can't remember. Oh, I found one of them, uh, uh, you know, TWA uh, Paris posters. I did not look up the London because it was so rough, but one guy had a very little wear on one thousand dollars for that Paris poster. Mine is not that nice, so I'm guessing it's probably going to take a hit to about 60, 50 bucks. It's the most it's probably worth. And I'll have to probably sell it online. I'm not going to get that kind of money at, at the flea market for it. Oh, and the last DVD set, The Stones. I don't know if it's CDs and DVDs. It had 18 bucks on it. Uh, it's another four disc set. Uh, this looked pretty good, even though, uh, got a little bit of wear. Uh, unfortunately, it's cracked, so that disc won't fit. I've tried to fix these before, and I had a little piece of plastic, but you can't pull this part off, because we'll rip the artwork in the background of poor Charlie Watts. I'm going to probably just take a piece of blue electrical, or, uh, you know, what painter's tape and put over it, hold it in. You don't want to put anything too strong you do not want to peel the back coating off a DVD. That is what allows the laser to read the information. But that's pretty cool. It's got its booklet. 
I don't know the value of any of this snap, and I don't know, I would assume these had this security thing, and instead of just leaving it alone, that's what happens. You just leave it. Just leave it on there. I suppose it sucks because it shouldn't be in there. That's one thing it makes up for. I'm going to try to probably maybe remove that sticker but, uh, very carefully. Uh, yeah. Um, so a couple I'll probably keep to watch, and I'll resell them next week. I don't even know what the weather's going to be like yet for the flea market. I wish I could remember what I was going to mention about that last video. I need to find a more rocky song for my next video uh, footage, or auction footage. I'm getting too bluegrassy, I guess. I like the sound of people playing stringed instruments well. That's mostly what I like now. It doesn't matter as far as much the genre. <laughs> um, I guess that's it for now. Maybe for until the next video. I guess you'll see. Uh, yeah, my friend gave me some stuff yesterday. Uh, little tape player. I don't know if it works. I don't want to do with this crap. She wanted to get rid of it. I helped take some stuff and up to donate at that store. I got some of the stuff because a lot of the stuff I've been buying is her stuff. Uh, these are bag of glasses. I don't know why I, she gave me these. I don't want to throw them away, but what am I going to do with them? They're not like filled with gold or anything. Uh, a couple glasses. One of these didn't get broke when I hit that. <laughs> I think I just recorded the band. Oh, I, I can't get them two glasses apart. I'm going to have to mess with them. Uh, uh, when I hit those tracks, it must have wedged them together. Couple more things. I don't want to even showing the stuff. It's mo there's nothing really. There's two turkey call things, which are, would be nice to be annoying with. I don't know if they're worth much or not. Oh, no. wait, all right, yeah, that's all. I have two of them. Um, she thought they were walkie-talkies, and so, so she held on to them, and then she realized they weren't. I got some pen sets. I don't know if they have any real value. A couple glasses. I don't know this place. Six Gun Territory, Country Store, Titusville, PA. I've never, I don't know if they're older. I mean, the glasses look older style, but, you know, they still make them. So. Um, i got to move my van here. He's mowing now. Newspaper, 19, August 15th, 1945, bomb brought end, Hiro, Hirohito, Japanese surrender, I don't know what else is in that pile of newspapers, one Stephen King book, it, um, the barber of Seville, here is a whole bunch of pennants, but I think she said there's at least one missing. There's some neat stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. I'm going to check and see how many there are. Cause she, uh, yeah, I don't know. I've had some pennants like that. If you have the whole complete set of them, they sell pretty good sometimes. So. They're small ones, too. So, And these are photographs of old Titusville postcards. I think there's two of each because you used to get that double prints all the time. I do not know if they really have any value. But uh, I'm sure somebody would probably like to see them. But... Uh, Great Gatsby, big, probably a nice dollar book. Uh, I don't know how that got slipped in there. She's slipping me stuff while I'm yapping like I normally do and giving me all this extra stuff. Uh, I don't know anything about Istan. Here is a cool wall tapestry for Drake Well. You don't see too many of these. I have another box in somewhere. I guess I took it out. Uh, bolo tie. It's got some kind of coat of arms or some kind of thing. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I got some books too. There's a Fairview High School Band. I don't know why. 1988. This is cool. I believe it's a Colonel Drake Hotel menu. I don't know if any of these survived. Well, one did, if that's what it is, and I'm pretty sure it did because over here it says six pack to go for later because they had a six pack shop, the only one in town at the time. We pay, we went there quite a bit. Sometimes every night of the week we'd go down and pick up a 12 pack. You could get a 
Blatt's or red, white, and blue 12 packs of bottles for, I don't remember what it was now, $3 and something? or That's pretty cool. I don't know how old this would be. I can't remember what when they finally tore down the hotel. That's pretty neat, though. Uh, and then there's a Far Side book. And then there's some kind of Greg Gehring something book. There's a Phillips Petroleum Company zippered pouch. And a couple other things. Some kind of a happy birthday from your friends at Marlboro. And then we got an oil field special edition and the Pittsburgh Steelers basketball team versus Tyson All-Stars, 1987, Knights of Columbus. Do not know. Uh, uh, maybe this was the other box, I guess. Huh. Here is a list of autographs. That, uh, it's a Bengals trading trading camp roster. Now Chris Collingsworth was there, but she didn't know if she has his signature. Um, hmm. I uh, do not know. I see like a Snyder. Anybody see? Oh, there's some Bo Jackson. No, it's not Bo Jackson. Um, I don't see any Chris Collingsworth on there. So maybe it wasn't. Oh wait, what, 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 what's this right here? Is that Chris Collingsworth? No, Chapman or somebody. So yeah, don't know. There's an ad, Max Montoya. Yeah, I don't know unless that's Chris Collingsworth. I wouldn't think so. No, because the last name looks like it's an S. <laughs> Ah, uh, there's some other junk in here. A little one, a little turn of the century Ruby Flash glasses. This was for Arthur Egbert, Bloomsburg Fair, 1906. Uh, here is a Connie at Lake Park mug, which is very cool. I didn't even see that. Huh, that's neat. Uh, here's a cassette tape, Cruising Classics. I think it was in that tape player. Here's some more pens. I didn't really look at all them. Here's a keychain from Marine Bank. I've seen them before. Uh, Marine Bank, I believe, has been gone for quite a while now. It's PNC is what our Marine turned into. A Garfield, big fat hairy deal. <laughs> Probably flea market it. Uh, uh, Lunt, sterling handled knife. I don't know. Probably not much value. Uh, it's heavy sterling until you take what they filled it up with out. And then it's not. Uh, these are pretty common. I have at least one or two of these. I got one from my grandma. I used to always have it on the top of my speaker, one of my speakers, when I had big speakers. And I think I'm getting to the end. This ashtray looks pretty old, but it's technically from 84, which is old now, I guess, since that's 40 years ago. And a loop, which I'm going to keep for the auction. I thought I'd show this. I got it this week. First place oil industry. It was, I don't know when this was made, probably the 80s. Ah, Unfortunately, the case is rotted, the foam's gone in it, but it is a Fred Sampson Titus PA uh, made this. It's a commemorative for uh, Uncle Billy. It was for, uh, he, Samson worked for Queen, he's 35 years of knife making experience, and so a lot of these knives are made from parts from Queen cutlery. Uh, two blade, it's, well, I'm going to have to open it to show you, really nice, got a little bit of aging, but it's never been used, but the case is shot. Uh, Uncle Billy Smith says on the blade, Samson Titus Papier, it's number 60, they're limited.